Assalamu alaikum and welcome everyone to chapter 37 of the Arduino series. In this video, I'm going to be using a DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor. There's also an alternative called DHT22, which is much better in terms of its quality and it's more expensive. However, they both perform the same task. Now for the example I'm going to be showing you, you're only going to need a temperature and humidity sensor whether you're using the DHT11 or the DHT22. You're going to need three female to male jumper wires and the Arduino. As the name suggests, there are two different sensors in the DHT11 and DHT22. One being the temperature sensor, which utilizes a thermistor, and the other being a humidity sensor. And you have three types. You have thermal, resistive, and capacitive. The one that the DHT11 and DHT22 use is a capacitive humidity sensor. As the price tag shows, the DHT22 performs much better compared to the DHT11 sensor. However, in terms of response, they are both slow, especially the DHT11, as we will see once we open up the serial monitor. But in terms of accuracy, in the DHT22 being on an average double the price tag of the DHT11, it is much better and it is more accurate. And if I was forced to choose between them, I would pick the DHT22. However, if I was to implement a humidity sensor into my project, I would just buy a separate humidity sensor instead of buying a temperature and humidity sensor. Now looking at your module, you'll notice that you have three pins. The plus symbol is going to be connected to either the 3.3 volts or the 5 volts. I have chosen the 5 volts. The out pin is going to be connected to one of the analog input pins on the Arduino. I have chosen A0. And the minus pin is going to be grounded. Now before we continue, we have to install the library that we're going to be using. So you want to go to your sketch, include library, manage libraries. There's going to be a window that's going to pop up. You, and within the bar, you want to type in DHT. You want to wait for it to load and you want to scroll down until you find the one that's called DHT Sensor Library by Adafruit. You want to go through it and you want to install it. Once the installation is complete, there's going to be another window that's going to pop up to ask you to download a library dependency called Adafruit Sensor. You need this, and if you do not have this, your code will not work. And if the window did not pop up or you closed it by accident, you can go to the GitHub link and it's going to take you to the library where you can install it. And you just want to put into your libraries folder where you installed your Arduino software. I start off the code by implementing the DHT library using the command hashtag include within the angled parentheses DHT.h. You have to make sure that everything is included, including the dot h. The following first portion is dedicated only for variables. I start off by making a variable for my analog input pin. And I make another variable that includes the text DHT11. With the data type being a hashtag define and the name being DHT underscore type. Now you can also use a char data type instead of using hashtag define. However, hashtag define is more suitable. I make two more variables that are going to store the values of the temperature and humidity. They're going to be a data type of float because I want the accuracy. Therefore, the decimal places. And because I'm going to be presenting data onto the serial monitor, I'm going to use the delay command with a variable of 250, which is 0.25 of a second, just so that what I'm presenting is going to be coherent. And finally, for the variables, a new command. And it follows the structure DHT followed by the name, Within the parentheses, you want to write in the pin that it's connected to. In this case, it's A0 or the variable DHT underscore pin. Next, you want to write in the type of DHT sensor you're using. I'm using a DHT11, but I've already defined it through the variable DHT underscore type. In the first command, I tell the Arduino I want to activate the serial monitor with the baud rate of 9600 using the command serial.begin. Now the next command is used to initiate the temperature and humidity sensor using the structure, the name you labeled your temperature and humidity sensor, followed by dot begin parentheses semicolon. And finally, I tell the Arduino that the pin I connected the sensor to is going to be an input pin. I know this since the data is flowing from an external source, the sensor towards the Arduino. In the void loop, I define the two variables, humidity and temp, which I did not define before. I have humidity equal to DHT. You can also replace this by the name you labeled your sensor. Dot read humidity. You have to make sure that you, the H is uppercase. And this will give you the relative humidity in percentage. I make the temp variable equate to DHT dot read temperature. Again, make sure that T is uppercase. And this will give you the temperature in Celsius. And then I use a series of serial.print and serial.print ln commands just so that I'm able to present everything. I present the humidity value and the temperature value. I end up with a delay command just so that I'm able to read the data that's presented on the serial monitor. You want to plug your Arduino to your computer. You want to upload it. And then you want to make sure that your board and your port are correct. Next, you want to open up your serial monitor and you'll see that temperature in Celsius is presented. And if you add a damp cloth or in my case, a tissue, you'll notice that the humidity will increase and the temperature may decrease. And something you'll notice is that the values of the humidity and the temperature are very slow, which proves the fact that they're not the best sensors on the market. However, they are something for you to be able to work on and understand how to use a humidity sensor. 
If the video has helped you out in any way, consider giving it a like. And if you wish to get closer to the community that I'm trying to build, my Discord is going to be linked in the description where you can access this code or ask me any questions regarding anything you didn't understand.